Hey, what's up, y'all? So, um, subscriber asked me to do something similar for what I did with um Far Cry Five, um, for the HDR slider. Um, this is Assassin's Creed Origin, as you guys all know, and this is mainly um for him. I'm gonna show him how to um adjust the slider. So we're gonna go into options. I didn't beat the DLC yet. Because Far Cry came in my way, so I didn't get to finish this. But anyway, it's going to seem a little blown out on the camera, but you got to kind of bear with me. Um, First of all, for the maximum luminance, you have to go by what your TV is rated as in nits. Whatever your TV can push out, you, you max it out to that. Don't go over it. You can look it up in the forums or look it up on your manual or something. Just try to see how much your TV can do. This TV is rated at um 1500, but mine's went up to 1560, I think it was. But since um this is just for gaming purposes, I'm just gonna leave a little little headroom and just max it out at 1500 or 1499. Now, in terms of there's an area right here where clouds is at. In terms of the um, maximum luminance, you wanna not um you want to see um detail shadow detail in the clouds so if you um are not seeing detail like the dark grays and the light grays and the whites your your luminance your your peak brightness is too high let me see if i can go up to whatever this is you guys might not be able to see it but on the camera it looks like everything is all blown out but in real life it's not so if i go up to 4,000 nits it clips off so basically if your TV is rated at a thousand nits if you go over that it, nothing will happen it will just clip off your TV can't produce that kind of height of nits so what you want to do is go with what your TV rated if your TV rated a thousand you put it on a thousand Let's see if I get to a thousand this is 145 nits I'm gonna go to a thousand C, but as you can see, like the camera is kind of over exaggerating the the brights. It's not really that bright and bursted out like that. But for this purpose only, for the maximum luminance, go by what your TV is rated as. Okay. So let's put this back to fifteen hundred. Keep it right there for now. As in pure right now, this is like a little um. This brings out the detail in the white. So if you have shadow detail for the maximum luminance, you're going to want to re refine it by using paper white, by conserving the black details and the lines and everything like that, and um, while keeping the main the, the brightness. But don't but try not to over exaggerate with this with this thing right here. So I think the the main um, the default is 350 for PS4 users. But I I realized three um 350 is a little bit too blown out. You're really supposed to look for um areas like this. If you don't see any details in this little area right here, it's too bright. So you want to bump it down. Till you start seeing details. Now this is too dark for my TV. And I'm going up. Still see the line. And Right, right here it starts to disappear so I'll just keep it at 300 but if you want to adjust the paper white you stay right here if you want to adjust the, the um the luminance you stay to the clouds like again this the camera is not really showing you what I'm trying to show you but I'm explaining it to you when you want to do the um when you want to set your ma maximum luminance go by what your TV is, is um rated as paper white is just refining your luminance Okay, guys, so that's about it. This was f solely for him, mostly, but if you guys had difficulties too uh, understanding what these things do, there you go. So that's basically it. Also, the brightness on the um, end game too, you're gonna wanna um, bump it down to just one. To just one.